Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome thee to our mid-October nor'easter landacane negative troth tilting monster system that will be wrapping up and causing trouble for Boston, Maine, Connecticut, and surrounding areas. This thing has dropped from 1,006 millibars to 995 millibars in about 10 hours, and it is well on its way to becoming a bombogenesis, or bomb genesis, depending on how you'd like to say it, storm. Models have it ranging anywhere from getting to 980 millibars, which would make it a category one cyclonic feature, to 950, which would make it category three, although I've only seen like one or two put it that low. Odds are this will probably come in about 970, but don't be surprised if these October storms surprise to the upside. That's what she said. And for your information, there is a chance that within the week, we could be getting hit by a Category 2 nor'easter up in the northeast and some type of tropical development in the Gulf of Mexico. And I got a feeling it is headed towards Crystal River, Florida. I could be wrong, so everybody along the Gulf from Louisiana to Florida, please pay attention. This thing is a 50% chance of development and it falls within our Eris alignment alert period, so everybody better be ready. Even though no one on the planet is saying it could be a hurricane, I definitely think it could be a hurricane. This will be the best test of our atmospheric defense all year because it appears with Dorian, Jerry, Humberto, that we had some help, whether it be Atmospheric Defense, Prayer Warriors, Asteroid Fight Club, that kept us super lucky so far for hurricane season. Let us hope that trend continues. But if you are anywhere from here to here, definitely be ready for some surprises and possible rapid intensification. The Gulf waters are very hot. And we will keep an eye on this thing. Sweet? Sweet. I wonder if Katya is wearing her rubber booties. Okay, so this thing is bringing some very heavy rain to parts of New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, New York, uh, Pennsylvania. And the thing is, this thing isn't even in its final form. It is going to be a nasty storm. It is going to drop some heavy rain. Lucky, Luckily for us, it's going fast right now, but it's going to do kind of a spin around loop-de-loop -loop around Boston. And so everybody needs to stay aware if you're into that type of shit. But yeah, ooh, look at that. What were those three triple zeros? Did you see them? Like loop one, loop two. That's probably where they're microwaving it down. Um, But yeah, and... We are going through a wave after wave after wave period. If my math is correct, the Northeast is about to get hit with three different storms in eight days. And the next one could be worse than this one. The upper Northwest, including Oregon, Washington, and Idaho, will, with Canada as well, will probably be getting hit with wave after wave after wave of storms as well with mixed precipitation. So yeah, it is a great time to stay aware. And definitely everybody from Destin to Tampa Bay, keep your eye on this thing. Even without any type of development, it should bring some heavy rain to your area. And I don't think I need to tell you how dangerous that pink is down here. And so it is going to have a lot of moisture to draw from. And if my, unless my eyes be deceiving me, which has happened before. It looks like it's trying to spin already. And so if that thing somehow crosses over and then heads up into the Gulf of Mexico, we could have some problems. So please stay aware because the Gulf of Mexico is pretty hot, 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 hot. And it looks like there's almost no wind shear along the mid Gulf path. Oy vey. Model guidance says you ain't got to worry. It won't be much more than a tropical storm. 
but because of the Aeris alignment and me warning about it all year long. Plus, it kind of looks like a weather dick. I think we should, you know, pay attention to it until the threat has passed. Hey, what do you know? Just seconds ago, Anthony Siciliano says, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Cranky Weather Guy. I hold quite a few people in high regards, but in my humble opinion, he is second to none when it comes to weather. I wish I had half the knowledge you do. You're a gift of folks into weather, my friend. And I want to thank you for doing what you do. Yeah, Cranky Weather Guy, who I call the king of weather Twitter, I feel the same. He's the best of the best of the best, and he has been absolutely stellar this hurricane season. So let's all thank him if we can, and he's been warning us about this storm for a while now. Storm Force 1, not a normal thing for the tide level to do. Any idea what have, could have caused it? You think it's an error? Huh. Storm Team 4, New York. That's for Cat lives. Low pressure continue to rapidly intensify offshore of the New York tri-state area. Expect these conditions for the next 24 hours. We're talking coastal low bombing out nearby. Heavy rain through midnight. Flash flooding possible in all areas. Wind gusts of up to 60 miles per hour likely. And minor coastal flooding this evening. Philip Pappen, who's always yapping about cool weather shit, zooming in on what is now Invest 96L in the Bay of Campeche. Visible low-level cloud motion suggests a closed vortex is forming near the deep convection around 20 north and 96 west. If the trend continues, tropical cyclone Genesis may not be too far away within the next 12 to 24 hours. And so, yeah, dude, this could definitely be a hurricane. It doesn't look like we have a lot of wind shear to deal with. The waters are hot, and it falls within the Eros alignment. Granted, it didn't happen on the 11th or 12th, like I guessed. But maybe I'll get a little credit if if I'm correct, and it's it's a week late. Who knows, man? And even though a hurricane technically does not hit the upper northeast, I think you guys are going to get hit all year long, kind of like 2017 when you got hit by five nor'easters in a one-month period. Yeah, you know, October, man, it, it's pretty crazy. But our atmospheric defense has been chopping the cloud tops off and separating the rain from the low of center, which has been working pretty well. So let's hope that's what happens and then people just get a decent amount of rain. But plan for the worst. Wait, prepare for the worst. Yeah, plan and prepare for the worst and then pray for the best. Texas, I think we're safe. Philip Pappen is yapping again. A recent ASCAT pass showed that cyclonically curved flow from easterlies to westerlies exist on Invest 96 northwest flank. So southwesterly flow, eckward of the convective cluster, would likely indicate the vortex is already closed, which means we could get development. And we have seen storms go from tropical storm to her Category 5 hurricane within 24 hours. Am I guaranteeing you that it's going to be Category 5? Oh, no, I am not. Especially since the trend has been for us to be lucky all year. Let's hope we stay that way. But I'm definitely saying, due to our Eris alignment, which technically takes place tomorrow, everybody needs to stay aware. 994 millibars as the storm is bombing out. Brittany Boyer pointing out that this is a bit of a super soaker for an evening commute. Heavy rain, increasing winds for this Wednesday night. And you know what? You know, I think if me and Katya went dancing, it would be like the Yankees in the Astros. And then we'd probably get rained out too. Although most dancing places are indoors. What I'm saying is, I don't think you got a game tonight, fellas. And one thing I usually do is tell you to cross-reference your sources, have multiple sources, do your own due diligence, and check out Cranky Weather Guy's blog. Because when the heat is on and the weather is crazy, he usually steps up no matter how busy he is in his real life. It's kind of like I'm Speed Racer and he's Racer X. High focus blog, intense eastern U.S. storm system, heavy rain, strong winds, high surf, coastal flooding, blowout, tads, rotation, water spouts, and weak tornadoes. So yeah, and don't be surprised if this event surprises people to the upside. His blog's usually pretty badass. Impact Theory, 
Where does blog now? Right of line. You get rain, frontal winds, 45 plus, negative tilting trough, winds 50 plus, synoptic winds, 50 plus, frontal trough overlay, trough simple. We're talking gales, man. So yeah, he's got a ton of knowledge to drop on your face. Plus, simple but excellent graphics. Arctic undercut tropical. Tropical pause data. Look at those pretty colors. That's beautiful. So, what are you going for as Halloween? And, are you going to have ham at Thanksgiving? Happy, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Yeah, dude, we got a bunch of crazy, wacky shit happening. Look at this, man. This dude is good. We've tracked the strong Gulf and Pacific tropical taps are building into the south. Some tapping already occurred as the parent low starts to interact with the southern stream. Yeah, so we got multiple streams of moisture that are coming together to make this storm an interesting event that will go on through the evening. We got a parent, we got a child, we got two kicks, three kicks, lots of energy. Negative tilt troughs. Yeah, so this thing, I mean, the dude is just legit. Um, so, check it out. It's usually a good read. And, um, yeah, he keeps talking about the thermal clashes happening on every level. Because the hot side is hot and the cool side is cool. And then everything in between is super stormy. Yeah, that looks hot, dude. That looks definitely hot enough to cause rapid intensification. I don't know why nobody thinks it could be a hurricane. I'm talking about 96L. Naruto? Anyway, once again, and not only is he great at weather, he's a pretty cool guy. Although he gets cranky sometimes. Maybe he should warn people about that. I'm joking. It's in his name. Okay. So we got this big bad storm happening off the northeast coast we've got this double area of concern for the gulf of mexico several of us believe we could be seeing some possible tropical activity or gulf of mexico activity into november because it seems like we're like a week or two behind so yeah it's pretty crazy and it's probably gonna stay pretty crazy um we had two four oh earthquakes in California. Now let's look at models, because that's what the ladies love. Oh, I should give you a heads up that you were going to get a head fake. Now let's make some headway. Yeah, it almost looks like it's pointed right at Crystal River. Cranky weather guy, strong squally kick coming from the Appalachians from the west, resulting high mountain winds and mid-Atlantic blow tides. Blowout tides. You can see the storm within the storm. And those concerning structures highlighted by this filter in the convective field. New York Metro weather. Here comes the wall of rain. Yep. John Homanuck. Who doesn't give up what rhymes with Nuck. Could be a window for stronger wind gusts in New England tonight as the mid-level and low-level centers close off. Almost a jet sting. Esquire. Look here. With a partial dry intrusion. Those are not good. Very strong winds in southeast Massachusetts. Wicked south winds, man. But also ripping northwesterlies into Connecticut. This is an impressive system. Latest NAM, ER, and Euro max wind gusts, not to be taken literally, but all fairly consistent. Lots of lightning and thunder brought to us by E weather. So, yeah. Negatively tilted. Trough located over Great Lakes with pressures beginning to tank off the Delmarva. This is pretty much a classic setup for East Cyclone Genesis. Yeah, dude, this thing is. And then it's like it starts, see it, it's tilting negative, and then it's gonna like zip flip all around Boston, Massachusetts. It's gonna be one to watch. Capital Weather Gang, because it seems like everybody in the weather's got a gang these days. Except for me, I'm a one-man gang. Although Cranky and I have an unofficial partnership. 
of whether awesomeness, what just happened? I hit a button. Now everything just got screwed up. I didn't mean to hit that button. Support great journalism. Chances are increasing that eastern Louisiana, Mississippi, Gulp, Alabama, and or Florida Panhandle may be dealing with a tropical system late Friday into Saturday. And so, if it's a thousand millibars here, how many millibars would it be when it gets to here? It's a question I want you to ask yourself. Uh, I don't. I like, I like to avoid. I like to avoid politics at all costs when I can. But I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and agree with Beto O'Rourke that we should definitely be legalizing marijuana. That would probably be a big boon for our economy, and people might even chill out. John Redcorn, today is the 16th. Models are now hinting at what you've talked about for the last few months. It's weird. Okay, bye. Centurions. I think the latest disturbance in the Gulf of Mexico might be the Crystal River Hurricane you were talking about. What do you think? And ye, Crystal River Hurricane, I'm glad you guys have been listening. And if it doesn't turn out to be anything, I apologize. If I did make a mistake, I've done the best I could to bring you guys the very best information possible by rubbing my nickels and dimes together. Although you guys have been utterly super duper and fantastic. Oh yeah, so I have a Thor News 7 year anniversary on the 23rd of November. It used to be a thing where I would get to celebrate. And it used to be like a lady would show up and take me out to celebrate. But you know, things have been weird. So I just want to say that I love you guys. You guys are super duper fantastic. I will be here staying up late on the midnight graveyard shift. Carving it for you. And this is going to be a wild week. And it's going to be a wild October, man. Um, the first first two weeks were like, were like the calm before the storm. And so like the 26th is going to be a really negative day. And then you've got like Devil's Night on the 30th. And then Mercury goes retrograde on the 31st. So be prepared for be, pre be prepared for storm after storm after storm. I'll show you that in the next video. Okay, if you appreciate what I do, I got uh, an address in the information box. You can send me a letter. I love your letters. I appreciate them all. Um, I got a PayPal, uh, uh, Cash App, Patron, if you guys want to donate just to say thanks. Um, I know I'm doing okay. No major emergencies. And I just want to say thank you to everybody out there. I love you. I appreciate you. And uh, stay cool. Because that's what we do around here. Astro Fight Club. Okay. God bless everyone.